Do a quick search on YouTube and you'll find a ton of videos listing the best free assets for Unity. From top 10 environments to AAA tank models, there are plenty of resources to get your next project off the ground running. But what about free assets, specifically for us programmers? I mean sure, there are editor extensions and scripting assets, but almost every asset that has anything to do with programming comes at a premium. And the ones that are free are outdated and don't work with the latest version of Unity. That's why I've compiled this list of the top 5 free tools, extensions, and assets that'll help you become a more productive and efficient Unity programmer. Let's get started. Number 1. Visual Studio While it may seem obvious to many of you, you'd be surprised how long it takes some developers to finally make the switch from MonoDevelop. If that's you, then here's what you're missing out on. Visual Studio is a powerful IDE with features like IntelliSense, Git integration, and an extensive library of extensions and tools. And now that Unity Tools is built into the installer, you'll get Unity integration right out of the box. We're talking great features like the Unity File Explorer and an amazing debugging experience. There's even an Attach to Unity and Play option so you can start your game right from the IDE with F5. But if you still aren't convinced, then check this next one out. Number 2. Solarized Solarized is a color scheme based on a 16 color palette that was created specifically for terminal and GUI applications. It was designed using precise C-Lab lightness relationships and a refined set of hues based on a fixed color wheel. It's been tested extensively, and I can say from experience that this theme is easy on the eyes, especially during long periods of use. Whether you're using dark mode or light mode, Solarize retains the same selective contrast relationships and overall feel that makes it such an amazing theme. For Unity development, you'll want to grab the Visual Studio Edition, courtesy of David the Bald, which can be found on his GitHub repository. Now, let's move away from Visual Studio for a moment. Next up is a framework that can actually be found on the Unity Asset Store. Number 3. Zenject Zenject is a lightweight dependency injection framework that was built specifically to target Unity. If you aren't familiar with dependency injection, it's basically a design pattern that allows you to automate and standardize how dependencies are filled in your project. If you find yourself using singletons a lot, or struggling to figure out how certain classes should be accessing one another, then dependency injection may be for you. In fact, I even have a getting started with Zenject tutorial that you should definitely check out after this video. Zenject supports the injection of both normal c -sharp classes and mono behaviors. It's my favorite Unity DI framework because it's based off of Ninject, which boasts an obsessive focus on simplicity and ease of use. Lately, dependency injection has become such an integral part of my workflow that I find myself using Zenject in almost every one of my Unity projects. Next on our list is another framework that I actually do include in every single Unity project that I work on. Number 4. nSubstitute nSubstitute is a .NET mocking framework that has proven to work very well with Unity. I'm a huge advocate for unit testing and game development, but functions that depend on indirect input or supply indirect output can be difficult to test. With nSubstitute, this is no longer an issue. Whether you need a mock, stub, fake, or whatever, the syntax is generic and extremely easy to understand. As a result, your tests will become much easier to read, which will save a lot of time in debugging. A lot of game programmers don't yet see the value of automated testing. But if you give nSubstitute a try, I think you'll find that writing a couple of unit tests won't be so bad. You may even find yourself catching some bugs that you would have missed otherwise. Now, Let's move on to something a little more fun with the last item on our list. Number 5. Spotify Remote I said earlier that Visual Studio had an extensive library of extensions and tools. Well, Spotify Remote is a perfect example for why that's so valuable. Spotify Remote integrates Spotify controls directly into Visual Studio, so you can play, pause, skip, and even select playlists directly from the editor. Now, you might be thinking, really? 
how are integrated Spotify controls a programmer tool? Well, if you're like me, and most of the developers I work with, music is as much a part of your development workflow as your IDE or keyboard. Sometimes, the only way I can get into that real nice groove is to have the right playlist on. But if music isn't your thing, you can always put on your favorite podcast while you work. I recommend my podcast, Indie Retrospect. We interview indie game developers about their games and their experiences in the industry. Well, that's it for this top five list of free tools for Unity programmers. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of the selection. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please like and subscribe with notifications on. See you in the next video.